falconry. For 4,000 years, this hunting sport has been practiced all over the world as both a form of entertainment and as a means of survival. It is unique in that there are no guns or arrows involved. Instead, the falcon is the weapon, and the falconer, its master. Birds of prey. They are some of the world's most fascinating creatures. Beautiful and majestic in flight, yet powerful and ferocious when the time calls. For thousands of years, their hunting prowess has been harnessed by man in the sport of falconry. Falconry, I guess you could relate to it, has been related to an, an intense form of bird watching. It's watching a predator do what it has evolved to do. This is Bob Leonard. Come on. A lab technician by trade, but a falconer at heart. He hunts with a three-year-old falcon named Iolani, who he raised since she was a chick. I was mom and dad, I'm now the boyfriend. So she gets a little defensive sometimes around people. Well, let's hope she saves that aggression for the hunt. Bob places a hood over Iolani's eyes to keep her calm for the time being. It's time to hit the road. We drive around for two hours before finding the right spot. Iolani prefers to hunt ducks, but Bob thinks she has a decent chance of catching one of these snow geese. She's gonna be anxious. Okay, we'll get her ready, get her set up. Before she flies, Bob equips Iolani with a radio transmitter. It can track her location up to 30 miles away. A falconer never wants to lose his bird. Finally, she's ready to hunt. Come on, here we go. As Iolani flies into position, Bob moves in to flush the snow geese off the water. The trap is sprung, but Iolani is nowhere to be found amidst the snow geese. It seems she's been distracted by a group of seagulls. Bob calls her back. It is illegal to hunt seagulls. But all is not lost. Off in the distance, Bob spots what he's been looking for. That's the ducks. What we'll do, let her rest a few minutes and see if we can put her back up. After a quick break, Yelani is back on the job. This time, Bob must trudge through the water to flush the ducks. Once again, the trap is sprung. But this time, Yelani is ready. She hits one of the ducks in midair, but it narrowly escapes. That's been the story of my season this year. Despite the fact that I've been hunting since October and it's now March, uh, anywhere from three to four days a week, I've got one duck. After failing for a second straight time today, Yelani isn't happy, and she wants our cameras out of there. She eagerly returns to Bob and gets payment for a hard day's work, quail meat. I she figured she flew and it's time to feed me. With her belly filled, Yelani is done hunting for the day and for the falconry season, which ends tomorrow. For the next six months, she and Bob will wait patiently until it's time to fly once again. It's basically a hobby, I'll say. It, it becomes more a lifestyle than anything, an obsession. The only thing I'm catching grief about right now is not supplying food for the table with the bird. But we'll work on that. Well, best of luck to you, Bob. And as the saying goes, there's always next season. <laughs> <laughs>